hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys you can see the error on the screen no boot device found press any key to reboot the machine so if you are facing the same issue this video is for you i will show you step by step how to fix and how to troubleshoot this issue so i'm using here the dell laptop so if you are using system or the laptop and the bios key will be f2 so you need to press f2 on your keyboard so first of all we need to shut down our system completely okay press it and press it for almost 10 seconds to keep it shut down properly now once it is shut down properly we need to turn it on and once you turn it on hit the app 2 key like this continuously hit now you can leave and we should be able to see the bios option now now the step number one will be date and time make sure date and time is correct here if it is not correct just you need to change it okay but this will not make the major changes but you can still check that now let's move on to the second step now go to boot sequence here and here is the most important part in this video if legacy is already supported on your windows so keep it on legacy but if you have newer windows and newer system just select that to uefi and once you click on uefi click on apply and in the uefi make sure the this enable legacy option room is disabled and also you can go to secure boot and secure boot you can enable it in the bios mode if you have selected uefi then you can leave the secure boot enable otherwise just leave it as default the disable state now we will check if the issue is fixed or not now still hard drive not installed it is showing up here so we need to click on continue here now again turn on your computer and press the F2 key continuously like this now again go to the boot sequence and select from legacy as you can see here this time the legacy is grayed out since the ROM is disabled so we have to enable that and you click on ok and let's come to secure boot and disable the secure boot first yes apply and then now go to advanced boot and simply enable the ROM option here and once you enable the ROM option going to go to boot sequence and again select the legacy option here and click on apply so i don't see any bootable drive in my system as you can see here so let me click on exit now with the saving changes and i will see if the issue is resolved or not now the same issue is coming up here so i have to again turn it off and we have to move on to the fourth step just turn it on again press the F2 key again like this and this time leave everything boot sequence now it is showing the boot sequence now so make sure the discable drive is on the top if it is not top then you can select that like this and click on up arrow key like this and make sure all the tick are selected here discable drive internal sdd usb storage all should be enabled here now go to the security tab since we have selected the legacy i'm using here windows 7 so most of the system has windows 7 so in that case you have to select the legacy option there and if you are using the windows 11 and 10 
so most of the chances that there will be the UEFI setting on your windows now expand the option system configuration and click on SATA operation okay and if the ASCI is disabled just enable that also click on yes and click on apply changes now all good now let's click on exit and see if the issue is fixed or not so see guys my window is loading now and my issue seems to be resolved you can see here if the issue is still persist and your issue is still not resolved then we have to run the hardware diagnostic test on our system and we have to also check if the hard drive is installed on a system or not sometimes the bad hard drive can cause this issue and sometimes you have to install the windows on it so first of all we need to identify that so in order to run the hardware diagnostic test on our system just restart your system and press F12 key like this continuously hit this time F12 key and once you see this you can see the option diagnostics just press the enter key to continue the hardware diagnostic test and let it run now this will diagnose our system all the component yes I am able to see this process will scan all the computer hardware component and if anyone is filled especially the hard drive it will show you the result so we have to wait here so hardware diagnostic test is passed and you can see here all the tests are passed here if you are in your system hard drive is not showing or even it has failed and give you an error so you have to replace your hard drive just click on results and you can able to see all the logs here all the files hard drive test pass test pass you can also click on that option and you should able to see so let me exit with the escape key on my system click on exit ok and again go to the F2 key and we will try to find out the hard drive is there or not So this is the hardware information, battery, boot sequence, so SATA is showing up here and also the drives SATA 0 is showing up here. So in my system the hard drive is not showing up itself but in your system check that and if you are able to see that or not. If nothing is works on your system guys just click on load defaults options hit this option click on ok and all the settings will be automatically enabled on our system then click on exit and this option should also work on your system see so these are the steps to fix the issue guys so i hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching